getting colors right in Vista. Now quite simply, all we need to be able to do is apply the correct printer profiles and settings to your printer. Now here we're looking at the Epson 2880 and we need to be able to apply these printer profiles and settings correctly uh, to your image editing software. So here we've got a, uh, our, uh, our um, uh, laptop screen and we're going to show you first of all how to set up Photoshop correctly uh, as far as the, the, uh, the colour settings are concerned. So what we need to do now is just go to the the edit menu so we've got file edit go down the bottom there now don't panic if you can't read uh, these these uh, these letters particularly well because I'm going to go through them stage by stage so we've we've got as close as we can to the screen but if you can't make out the the letters all that well don't panic because we're going to go through so this is this is Photoshop color settings we're actually going to go through here to make sure that your edition of Photoshop is set up in the correct industry standard way. Now the working space at the top here, RGB is set for Adobe RGB 1998. CMYK is set for US web coded swap version 2. Grayscale is dot gain 20%. Spot is dot gain 20%. Color management policies, RGB, preserve embedded profiles, CMYK, preserve embedded profiles, and grayscale, again, preserve embedded profiles. Profile mismatches, ask when opening, ask when pasting, ask when opening, they're all ticked. We then go a little bit further down, and we've got conversion options. The, uh, the conversion engine is Adobe ACE. Intent we set to relative colorimetric and the and the, the other two down the bottom here are use black point compensation that's ticked and use dither that's also ticked the last little thing here is compensate compensate for scene referred profiles now we don't tick that and according to the laboratory uh, all of these settings we we we, we set and we we uh, we we save those um, now the last two here, the advanced controls, we don't have them ticked. Okay, so to refresh your memory, we go up to the edit menu, and we go down to color settings, and then we get these color settings here. And when you're happy that you've you, you've got this uh, set up correctly, you can simply uh, uh, save. And I like to save them as today's date. So down the bottom here, I'll just put in today's date. That's the 31st of the, four, of the 4th 09. And we just go across here like the bottom to save. And then we'll, we'll just save as we are. So we can now shut down Photoshop. So at the top, we go to the file menu right down to the bottom and we'll shut down. Now the first thing we've got to do now, having sorted out Photoshop correctly in the industry standard color space, we need to import the printer profiles that we've been provided. So if we're using an Epson printer, if we're using an Epson printer with the license inks, you will have been provided a set of printer profiles on a CD, or alternatively, you would be able to download these printer profiles from the Lyson website or from the Merit website. We're, we're your technical support for photography. So all you need to do is uh, get the CD or get the download and you can actually save your folder of profiles onto the desktop. Now there they are, we've just left them there. And this is for the Epson 2880 in this case, but it applies across the board. So let's open up this folder and we show you how to install the profiles. So we've got five typical profiles that we're going to install. Usually we, we have maybe eight or 12 uh, generic printer profiles that we'll supply to you for your particular uh, uh, ink set. So here we've got the top one, which is the Portfolio Fine Art profile, and we're going to right click, and the top line there says 
install profile so we left click next one right click and then left click on install profile the next one right click and then left click on install profile we got the fourth one here right click and then left click on install profile and the last one right click and left click on install profile it's as simple as that we can now get rid of the dialog box top right hand corner now all we've got to do is restart Photoshop and see if we've been successful. There's our little, there's our little uh, uh, shortcut, and we're opening up Photoshop now. There's Photoshop. There we go. So we've got Photoshop open, but we need to be able to print something that we can tell. We can actually tell what's going on. Now we're very lucky because we've been we've been uh, 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 donated a nice standard image from. Uh, from Tony Riley. Now Tony has actually donated this image. Uh, his website is www.imageplace.co.uk. It's a very good educational website and Tony is a very good independent colour management specialist. So if you have problems with colour management outside of the uh, anything we can help you with of course, Tony will be only too pleased to help you. We've, in this image, we've got very good, accurate, uh, a very good, accurate, uh, neutral image. We've got good, smooth grayscale across the side there. Nice, nice scale, which is great to see the the uh, uh, the smoothness of your printer. And also, we've got a good scale here of primary colours, and we've got good evidence of of uh, what your printer is doing here. We've got some good saturated colours, and of course, we've got a very good, clean. Uh, flesh tone, a, a nice pale flesh tone, which is usually very difficult to achieve. Now this print is available from us, just contact us and we'll send you this print on the post and it, it will be a certified accurate print. So the colours will be correct, the densities will be correct and you'll be able to check your monochrome and your colour performance. So this is a fantastic industry standard uh, uh, image that we're very grateful for um, Tony Riley uh, of, of donating that to us so we're very grateful to Tony now we actually can download this image from our website and that will be uh, www.marrot.com forward slash print dot php so that's www.marrot m-a-r-r-u-t-t dot com forward slash print.php so there we have it we actually have the digital version of the print that we've actually had posted to us so that's what we've got to achieve and we've got to be able to match that now how can we print that accurately using our Epson uh, printer with our license inks uh, and the profiles that we've had provided for us 